Hello everybody, Big Plains here. Now before I dive too deep into this video, I want to give a shout out to my patrons over on Patreon. Thank you to everybody over on Patreon who is able to help support the channel. You guys are one of the reasons why I'm able to build these planes in the first place. And yeah, I'm really thankful for how you guys are able to help. I will leave a link in the description below if you want to go help support the channel over on Patreon. So... Yeah, well, a lot more progress has been made to the 737. Now, before I dive too deep into this, I want to let you guys know that there are only about, what is it, 28 days left on the LEGO Ideas submission for the 737. It's, it's the 500, but it's not this one, but it is a 737. So if you guys want to go support that, I will link it in the comment section. I think it'll be the pinned comment. But yeah, let, let's get to this model because... Yeah, a ton of progress has been made recently, and you can see it here right next to the the 727, which is also in a Southwest Airlines livery. But yeah, so the the progress here has mostly been made to the other wing and the tail. So if we come around here, I know the lighting's a little odd at this time, but you can see that I finally got the other wing on, and I also got the tail on. Now to get before before we get to any of those, I want to. Uh, discuss the winglets here. I got some comments saying they look too much like a 737 Max winglets. So what I did is I angled these up more. They, they used to be more, um, it's kind of hard to show, but it's, they used to be more sideways. And I angled this vertical one up more and the horizontal one uh, down more. So they're less squished together. So they should look less like the Max now. This looks more like the NG. But yeah, so I finally got the other wing on and I finally got the winglets on. So you can see this is what it looks like in all of its symmetrical glory. And yeah, I actually think the wings turned out pretty well. Again, a lot of none of the none of the decals are on yet, and there's still some smaller things that I have not actually gotten on yet but most in the front of the aircraft is done so now i'm going to talk about the back and i will briefly show you the interior since i was able to get all those seats in so stay tuned for later yeah, there's a hair on it Ugh. so back here i was able to finally get the tail started you can see here that's what it looks like and it's actually uh fairly sturdy again this is the sides in the shadow so i'm going to try to show it to you a little bit better maybe from this side but yeah that's what I've come up with so far now do be aware that those jagged edges will be smoothed out with prints later and first first it'll be stickers but eventually it'll be prints those will be smoothed out so don't worry about that those will get uh, smoothed out later but you can see that I did finally get the galley and you can see that I have the rear doors and yeah for the carpeting I'm using dark blue and you can see that we have our uh, this is our galley you can see that they're are some soda cans back there since Southwest mostly just serves uh, in-flight snacks. You can see that there are some soda cans and there are the little uh, carts that they use to uh, go down the aisle and serve those uh, peanuts. I mean, do they still serve peanuts? I don't know. To serve, you know, food. So that's what the galley is so far. It's, it's not completely done yet, obviously, but it's, it's coming along pretty well. You can see that I have the spaces cut out for the doors and stuff. So all that's really left at this point is the impenage. So I will quickly show you the interior here. I don't really want to spoil it too much for the final video, but I will show it to you. So uh, the roof can be removed. Again, I'm trying to keep this relatively simple. So the roof can be removed in one piece. And yeah, voila, there's, there's the interior. Like I said, there's still some things missing, including the forward lavatories and such. But I did decide to go with the seats that were uh, tan backed with the blue headrests. So dark blue in the floor is dark blue. So that's what the inside looks like. It's all economy. That's how Southwest works. And like I said, I still haven't gotten a lot of things in yet. There's still things that we are missing. But yeah, and you can see that for the exit rows here, there is a little bit more room. And yeah, so that's the interior. That's what we've got so far. I'm not going to spoil too much more of it, even though you've pretty much already seen the inside. So yeah, that's that's the interior there. And the flaps, I don't know if I showed this to you in the last video, so I'll show it to you now. But this is what the flaps look like from behind. Again, it's a little bit difficult to see here. I'll just rotate the whole airplane this way. Uh, da, 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 da. The wheels work pretty well, <laughs> right? Look at that. Okay, so the flaps, again, I'm trying to show this to you the best I can. There you go. That's what the flaps look like. So yeah, the flaps are dual fold. They, they do fold all the way to the wing. I'm not going to demonstrate it to you right now because there are there are better ways to do that later. But yeah, that's what that's what the flaps look like. And actually, I think they turned out really well. They're much more stable than the previous 737 flaps. And like I said, I'm trying to revise things the 
best that I can for this model, and I'm actually pretty happy with how those flaps turned out. And the wings in general on this one are much more stable. You can see the dihedrals, just generally much more stable, and I'm happy with how it turned out. So that's just going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully this can be done in the next video. So that's all I really have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, hopefully I can be done by this in the next video, and yeah, that's, that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.